It's been about eight years since Pokemon Go first appeared on the scene and encouraged everybody to get out their doors and go out and get more exercise, exploring the world around them for Pokemon to catch, train, raise, and battle. And, of course, the game has evolved considerably in the last eight years or so, with more and more monsters to catch, raids being added, and all kinds of other stuff. The only problem, apparently, is that it just wasn't culturally Marxist enough. You gotta get that DEI money, baby. In an effort to uh, then keep up with the latest trends of apparent diversity, equity, and inclusion, Pokemon Go announced a while ago that it would be updating the character models for the players, removing feminine curves from women, for example, androgenizing the men for another and allowing you to be a fatty, fatty, fat, fat, if you'd like, which is kind of ironic for a game that's supposed to be encouraging and promoting good health through exercise and exploration. And of course, predictably, the fan backlash looks set to tear the whole thing down again. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name's Will. See what I did there? Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. We are going straight into the Pokemon Go situation as I've been meaning to talk about this for a few weeks, but it does look fairly ridiculous when you see a bunch of women who've had all their curves removed and a bunch of men who've had some added. Not to mention the obesity character model, which is just absurd, antithetical to the entire point of the game, apparently. So if you're liking the video, then please like the video, get it out there for more people to see, and of course subscribe to the channel if you'd like to support me and get more news, reviews, commentary, and rebellion. Here we are then, straight away on Grums' X page, because, I mean, the guy is so prolific at this point, he's basically a one-man news organization. The Pokemon Go avatar changes are pissing off all real women who got their trainers destroyed by unnecessary DEI changes. This wasn't to appeal to women, it already appealed to women. DEI and ESG initiatives ruin games and will cost Pokemon Go millions. Damn straight, Grums. It was really a pleasure talking to you the other day, mate. No butts, no weight. I guess that's meant to be waste. No hips. And here's a chat jaw. Let's take a look at some of these pictures then. Someone put here, LMAO, whoa, 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 what is this? I look like a sunken zombie that hasn't seen the sun in my whole life. Niantic, this is so embarrassing for you. Fix this garbage. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, what we can see, of course, on the left here is a mildly tanned, but mostly white chick. Unfortunately, wearing a mask. But, hey, I guess even some of those people can still wake up. Um, she's got a butt. She's got a uh, slim-ish waist. She's got childbearing hips. You know? Feminine. No question. Now what do we have? We've got... Okay, first of all, there's something seriously messed up with that, with that upper arm. It's like she's got a bicep, but it's too low. Weird. Skin pigment gone. Very strange for DEI. Then, hey, there you go. No more hips. Straight down like a bloke. Like a guy. Uh, the arse is now saggy. Not at all pert like this one. And uh, it seems to have gained a bit of, I don't know, weight, but without any shape. Grim. So, uh, yeah, the legs are fatter. Well, not fatter, just less toned. Overall, everything just looks a bit rough. Just a bit worse. Basically. Another one here from Honey E E E Buns. I honestly didn't think it would be so bad. She looks sick. Someone send help. Not my avatar. Yeah, I, I don't understand what this is supposed to be. The faces seem to have been drastically downgraded in terms of detail. The skin lacks any color. Although that could just be the difference in the photos because it seems to not be the case in the other picture. Any semblance of femininity is gone. This now looks like a little boy. There's no bust. There's no nothing. It's, it's ugly. Uh, from Emma at Musrico Fierce. Hashtag Pokemon Go Niantic. This is awful the way you killed my beautiful avatar. I hate this so much. You lost a customer today. Wow, this one's bad. You can see the girl here with her Pikachu and her Pokeball keychains. Uh, sporty top. Slim waist, curvy ass, nice tan skin with a bit of 
uh, saturation to the color tone so that it looks healthy. Ho-ho wings, of course. Now on this one, we can see desaturated hair, desaturated skin, no curves, saggy, weird saggy boobs, um, skinny legs, <clears throat> and again, no waist, like no hips, none. Okay, well, there you go. Luke Von Karma says, if you want context on how terrible the change was, look at this update Pokemon Go did to the avatars in the game. I hate to be like, lol, it looks like AI art, but it's pretty horrendous. Please reverse this horrible update. Once again, we have a character here who's a woman. Um, and I don't know if I'm just being a bit strange here, but Luke is a guy's name. So, hey, whatever floats your boat, buddy, I suppose, as long as you're not hurting anyone or whatever. So we got this woman character here who, once again, used to have like a rich, dark skin. Healthy looking skin, uh, curvaceous waist, hurt tits, and now has flat, round, spread out boobs that look like nothing human. Um, a waist that's completely devoid of any curves at all. Arms that are kind of freakishly long. Um, and yeah, just nothing good. The face, look at the detail on the face. Any and all cuteness is gone. That's a pretty masculine, rounded jaw there as well. This is sick. This is just trying to normalize A, ugliness, and B, androgyny. So that children will think that men and women are the same. Spoilers, guys, they're not. So this comes from that part place from John F. Trent. Pokemon Go players demand Niantic reverse newly rolled out avatar changes. Why y'all make everybody ugly? Pokemon Go are not hap uh, players are not happy with Niantic and it's recent, uh, newly rolled out avatar changes many of them are pointing out how ugly the avatars are and are demanding that niantic reverse the changes yeah it says here uh, trainers your avatar can now look even more like you so are you saying that we're all fat and ugly some of us take care of our appearance in a blog post the company detailed both your avatar options in the style shop have also received updates allowing you to express yourself with more customization options than ever before this is just deleting women the company added, express yourself like never before with a range of new avatar customization options in Pokemon Go. Personalize your avatar with adjustable body weights, eye colors, and skin tones, plus new facial expressions and hairstyles. Hairstyles can be filtered by short, medium, and long options. This all sounds really good if it weren't for the fact that what you've replaced the options with as a baseline are hideously ugly and not representative of the actual human race. Women can look like those original avatars. If they are willing to get some freaking exercise, which is supposed to be the point of Pokemon Go. A new section allows you to customize your avatar's body with choices for weight, muscle, shoulders, chest, and hips. Advanced color options for skin tone, hair, and eyes. Blah, 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 bollocks. If they don't change it back within one month, I won't be playing, says Camp Rock Gracie. Norsby, NorbZF says, I can't stop laughing looking at everyone's hideous avatar's 11 out of 10 joke. No one asked for this. Revert it says Anini Mouse. Um, yeah, I mean, look, again, we can see the same thing we saw before. Desaturated skin, a blank expression, a bigger jaw. The hair doesn't look right. It's a bit shinier, but it doesn't look right. The shoulders have been widened. The hips are gone. The tits are flat. The crotch is weirdly low to the ground. Just, just strange. Fox World wrote, now I look like a lesbian. Help! <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not fucking wrong at all. He looks just like a lesbian. Yep. Even right down to the hideous plaid pants. Although that might be a choice. Out of shape. Kim Jong-un haircut. Pale as hell. Definitely a dyke. I'm trying. I'm not trying to be toxic, but what is this weird potato-shaped body going on here? Someone said. The Black Link said, why y'all make everybody ugly? Tom DiMaggio said, we are not androgynous. Rhea McQuaid said, please tell me how you think the new avatar looks better in every way. Once again, look at this belly. It's sort of weirdly stretched to one side. This is, this is hideous. Somebody else suggesting uh, the current solution is to just dress as a Snorlax. Well, um, that might be a reasonable solution for some people, but I got a better one. Boycott this game. 
boycott this game, do not play it, do not give them any time, do not give them any engagement, do not give them any money. You can always come back again when we hear that they have reverted back to how things used to be or improved the overall system entirely. But until then, simply play something else. Find another game. There are plenty of other alternatives to Pokemon Go. How about trying a real Pokemon game? They're better anyway. But, uh, you know, there are a hundred different options for you as a gamer. There are lots and lots and lots of things you can be playing instead of this. And I'm sorry. I really am, because I know how it feels. I play a bit of Pokemon Go from time to time still. Not as much as most people do who do play it, but a little bit. And I understand that it's annoying, very, 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 very frustrating when something that you really enjoy gets just changed. Just changed from what you like to something else without any say from you, without any input from you. And you just have to be a good little consumer piglet and suckle it down with a smile on your face. Boycott it. If you don't like it, boycott it. That is the only way that these people will ever realize what they are losing is siege tactics. So use them. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you have enjoyed it. And subscribe to Will of the Fans if you'd like to see more of me. I'd like to see more of you. I will be back with another video for you very, very soon. But until then, remember to question everything. Respect the freaking fans. And I'll chat to you next time.